Hey, good morning, old slicker. How's everybody doing today? Man, finally got that doggone uh, pizza oven built. Now I can get back to riding these motorcycles. Uh, hey, I got a few things for Red Horse. Gonna try to dress her up, kind of work her up a little bit. Let me show you what I got. Okay, first thing I've got, I've got this uh, this uh, Puig uh, windshield. It's the uh, the touring windshield goes up uh, pretty high. Uh, we're gonna put that on. Second thing I have. Okay, I also picked up this uh, Puig. Uh, may not be saying that right, but apologies if I'm not. But Puig um, light guard. Then also the GV or GV GIVI uh, radiator. Uh, protectors. Like I said, the light thing's gonna go right here. Radiator protectors here, and uh, uh, and of course the windshield right here. So uh, I'm not gonna show step by step how to uh, put these on. There's probably a lot of other videos, but uh, I'm gonna put these on and uh, probably take a little boy for a ride. We get this joint off here. Yeah. That would be right behind that. Can't believe I dropped that screw and it didn't fall into the middle of the engine somewhere where I'd never find it. It looks like I just had to lower the windshield to get to these other ones. There is a, uh, there's an extra Big makes a, a extra support thing to support this windshield. I don't know exactly what it does, but um, I'm gonna try it without it first because it kind of when you put that on there, that's just extra stuff up here, and I, and I hear that it makes it hard to adjust your windshield. I'm gonna try it without it, and then if uh, if it seems pretty stable, I'm gonna save that hundred and thirty dollars or whatever it costs. But if it's if it's bouncy, because I do go off road on this a little bit. Mostly just gravel now, and that's the reason, main reason I'm putting those radiator guards and the uh, light guards. Uh, so, uh, if I think it's any, any way unstable, I'm going to purchase that also. I didn't even know that that was uh, available until after I'd ordered this. Uh, I dropped that son of a gun. Oh, there it is. Praise Jesus. Lord have mercy on Oh, now I dropped my dog on the socket wrench. <laughs> oh, slicky suck! Oh, God, Junior, did I make it six or three years old? Uh, definitely not by being a mechanic. Ah! You kidding me? I didn't, didn't drop that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, yeah, I just slipped down. Okay, that slips off. That just slipped right off. And uh, now I can take these bottom ones off more easily. Uh, is that a word, more easily? Uh, let's get a little side by side comparison. And that's the shadow up under there. Uh, but uh, that's the outside. Okay, that's a perfect fit. I mean, it went in there like butter. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty simple too. Uh, before I put that back on here though, I'm going to go ahead and try to put this light guard on here because I don't know how much of this I got to take off. So let's jump on that next. Okay, if you get ready to put one of these on, don't do like I did. Uh, I took this whole thing off which wasn't nothing, it was a screw here and a screw here. In the packet, they send you a little smaller size on the on the fitting here, but a, two long screws and then two short screws to replace these. I, I kept the original ones on both sides, I put it back on. But this thing is made with actually a little indentation right here, that that fit right in there. So basically, if you do this, don't be like old Schlick, 
follow instructions. Just take these two screws out and replace them with the longer screws. But uh, I like the way that looks. Next thing, radiator guards. Like on bust knuckle. But I do like the way that windshield looks. Okay, man, I know this video is uh, definitely one you don't want to watch as a how-to video. I'm just trying to uh, get that windshield and get those things on. Uh, that windshield, it does great. I love the way it, uh, it, it, uh, it, it deflects the wind. Headlight guard and the uh, radiator, my, my little radiator guards. I think that's going to be something that can save me a lot of trouble, a lot of money along the way. I ride a red horse, man. I want to be comfortable. But uh, one thing I did come to a conclusion is... It, it's pretty steady without that extra brace you gotta buy. But uh, I was going down the interstate and a huge truck passed by me. You know how you catch that? When they go by, you know, you get that reverber reverberation when you're behind them. Well, that windshield was just reverber, And it kind of scared me because I thought, because uh, uh, I, I had once when I was on a, uh, uh, my, uh, my R1200 RT. You know, it's got that, uh, that's a BMW and it's got that big windshield that automatically comes up and comes down. I was riding on it one day. I was going like kind of, if you'd imagine, I was on an old gravel road that was going to come up and hit a highway. And I was on this gravel road. The wind was blowing from my right to my left and it was huge pine trees. So I really couldn't feel any wind. Then I came up on the highway. It was a, a narrow two lane highway and the wind was just blowing th down that highway just like coming through a canyon. And I didn't realize the wind was blowing that much. And I had my windshield up kind of up a bit. And when I turned left into that wind, that wind caught that windshield and snapped it off. And it went right across my left uh, thing. And, and uh, luckily I didn't have any speed and, and no cars were coming, but uh, man, it could have been catastrophic. Catastrophic, catastrophic. It could have been real bad. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I don't want that to happen. And I, I kind of started getting flashbacks of that whenever uh, that windshield started buffering. So I am gonna go ahead and purchase that extra brace uh, just just so it won't, uh, you know, something, you know, get a bad wind, get, get, in, a, get in a situation like I did uh, with my RT and get that, get that thing snatched off and cause me to wreck. But anyway, man, I love that windshield and uh, I think these parts are gonna be great. But anyway, hey man, been watching this far hey man uh i appreciate it. i want you guys to like subscribe and share got some big things coming up in 2024 for this channel so i want you to watch i want you to share and uh, tell somebody about my channel but uh hey man but just like old slick i know you're gonna do what you're gonna do so y'all be particular all right <laughs>